whenever and wherever happiness shines for you. It is the bliss of your own self that so shines. Whenever and wherever something seems to be known, it is your own consciousness, the quintessence of the knower, that is so known. Whenever and wherever something seems to be, it is your own self that is existing. Your own self of the nature of Satchidananda, being consciousness bliss, ever is, just as it is. It is unchanging, unconditioned, without limitation. bodiless, attributeless, and entirely free of individuality. It is unborn and consequently imperishable. And this indeed is the perfect fullness the happiness which knows no cause or condition in order to realize that continuous permanent unlimited happiness that is actually our own nature. One must know oneself. What are you? What is actually yourself? Whatever is truly yourself is always so. If something appears and disappears, comes and goes in your experience, it cannot actually be yourself. What is yourself? Consider the changes that occur within the three states of mind, waking, dreaming, and deep dreamless sleep. Whatever changes, whatever is present and then absent later, or whatever is contradicted from state to state, cannot be yourself. If the self which is infinite and eternal existence and consciousness is not known as it is and is mistaken that is misidentified with something that the self is not. One's own innate happiness seems veiled, apparently limited to that extent. This represents no change in the reality for the self ever is, just as it is, the supreme truth. But it won't be evident to one as long as misidentification occurs. Whatever appears in the waking and dreaming states ought not to be regarded as yourself. For such disappears 
when there is deep dreamless sleep. But your existence does not disappear. What is this existence? The same existence that is present in deep dreamless sleep is existing now in this apparent waking state. What is the existence? And what has, through imagination, apparently been added to it? A body appears in one state, yet not in another. Yet your existence, the inner consciousness, is consistently present. The body cannot be the self then. And none of its attributes, qualities, states or activities pertain to your real self. If this is truly comprehended, immortal bliss is yours. None of the mind's content, and even the idea that a mind exists, is consistently present through waking, dreaming, and deep dreamless sleep. Yet the existence of your consciousness remains unaltered, without beginning and without end. The mind inclusive of all kinds of thought, cannot possibly be yourself. If you realize this within yourself, yours is supreme knowledge, which is non-objective in character. The notion of I, the assumption of existing as an ego or individual, rises and disappears again. While your existence, your real being, remains ever the same, perfectly full, without beginning and without end. The self cannot be an individual I. It never becomes such, but always is just as it is. Unmodified, unformed, timeless, locationless existence. That existence is Brahman, the vast absolute. If you realize this, there remains no distinct realizer. And absolute being or Brahman the one self is found to alone exist eternally. If you do not realize this, the one who does not realize does not actually exist. That one who does not actually exist is the root cause of all other misidentification, that is, all other kinds of ignorance. Ignorance alone composes the false sense of limitation or bondage and brings about consequent suffering. 
none of which is natural. The perfect fullness of Satchidananda, being consciousness bliss, is natural, is innate. Therefore, Sri Bhagavan has said that inquiring and realizing one's true self is alone the means to recover the bliss that was never really lost. Happiness does not come from an exterior source. Suffering is not caused from without. Put an end to imagination, misidentification, and the possibility of suffering vanishes. Turn inward to know yourself and the limitless happiness of your own being shines forth for itself. 